Hi guys, if you don't know who I am, I do adult videos on OnlyFans. And fun fact, actually really, really sad fact, is my mom found my TikTok. And she decided to read through the comments and she saw everyone was commenting, look up Reno Gold on The Hub. So that's what she decided to do and then I got a call after. Everybody, it's me. It's my last day in Rome, and I'm just walking around. And uh, thought I'd give you a little live clip. Um, I'm enjoying my trip, but I can't wait to get home tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm going to eat a lot today, and uh, I'll see you all back in the states tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao, big kiss. I love this man and I have to have him, but I was only 17. Uh, just hanging out, keeping myself busy. <clears throat> As you can see, I threw together <laughs> some weight <clears throat> that are helping me just a little bit. Mm. As good as possible. Mm. I hope you think it's working. <laughs> ah. So smile without your eyes. Raise your eyebrows. Stop smiling. That's your model face. So that's what you think of my boyfriend and I, huh? Papito. Yes, Daddy. See you next Tuesday, bro. Daddy. Yes, Papito. Congratulations. Thank you. Mwah. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Beat that! Yes, that harness. Looking good, Arad. Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Why Is This TikToker What? Today's answer is completely unwater related. Yes. Love me. Yes, I love you. Love me. Yes. 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 Only you. Jesus. I am currently single, and I have been for a long time. I've dated here and there in the past, but I would love a long-term relationship. So, taking relationship applications down in the comments. <laughs> What was the moment that made you realize that your friend was a real ass friend? I mean so basically there's this guy and every single time that I would see him, he would make fun of me for being gay. So one day I randomly told my straight group of guy friends that I play Call of Duty with, you know, straight shit, that, you know, there's this guy that we all know and he's still making fun of me for being gay. And after about an hour, they were like still ready to kick his ass. And I was like, no, let's chill. Let's just play Call of Duty. I don't like confrontation. Anyways, fast forward to one day, one of the guys is with me, and we were going to eat Chick-fil-A. And of course, who do we run into in Chick-fil-A? The guy that's going to make fun of me. And the first thing he says is, Riley, can you even eat here? And I, of course me, I'm like, you're right, I can't eat here, I'm gay, you know, the Lord's chicken. And my straight friend was with me, he was like, so funny, ha ha ha. We walked out, he was ready to beat him up, you know, crazy things. Part two's up. This is part two. So basically the friend that was with me in Chick-fil-A, we got our food, we left, we didn't care. My friend still wanted to beat him up, but we went, you know, we wanted to make the best of our day. We just had one more class to go until we could go home, you know, do whatever we wanted to do. So the next day came along and I realized that the guy that made fun of me was not speaking to me. 
he like didn't even look at me um he had unfollowed me on everything even linkedin which is wild um and i was like okay cool you know he's gonna leave me alone well the next couple of days went by and the guy that made fun of me his girlfriend came up to me was like you know what your friend did right and i was like no what happened and it's like she goes your friend came to his work asked for his manager and asked for where he was went straight up to him and said if you ever do that shit again there will be a problem because neither one of us thought that was funny and it's just not it Can I have my allowance? Get out. Get out of here. Just a friendly reminder. If you show up in my notifications and you like more than five videos in a row, that's considered stalking. Don't stop there. Hey, son. Uh, me and your other dad are just going to grab something to eat. Do you want to bring your girlfriend? Lovely. Okay, I'll see you in five minutes. Brunch. Well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, I am uncut. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm... I'm uncut. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, that's, that's fine. Uh, fi you fine? But, uh, that's fine. Uh, I mean, <laughs> normally people love that I'm uncut. Like, they love it. <laughs> Good for you. That's great. Good for you. Okay. Hey, uh, did you know I'm tall? Yeah, uh, I'm six foot, or five, oh, almost six foot. If you touch my beard or run your fingers through it, I'm going to throw you up over my shoulder and we'll both be taking our clothes off. Are you playing Pretty Pretty Princess? Can I try on one of the earrings? No trade. Bubble stickers are better than fuzzy stickers. Fine, I'll throw in one of my erasers from the prize box. Okay, now put your fingers right here and pinch it. It's so cool. What are the other boys doing? Oh, I don't know, playing hacky sack or something. Anyway, you're going to live in a shack. Guess who got the princess bear? <laughs> I know. I can't believe I'll never have to have a job. Okay, my favorites. Baby One More Time, uh, No Strings Attached, uh, the Corn album, If I'm Mad at My Parents. If you force the boy Sims to kiss enough times, they'll get married. Nikki McKibben over to Myra Gray? Are they kidding? This has to be a joke. This is, has to be a joke. Mom? Mm -hmm. Can you name a time off the top of your head that you were most ashamed of me? Oh my god, there's been so many, honestly. <laughs> so many times. Um, I, can't even, I can't even tell you one time, but do you know what? One of the times that sticks out of my head, to be fair, was when I came home and never saw my old, old geezer walking out of your bedroom, out the back door, and I didn't get it. And then when I questioned him, he said, oh, it's my friend's dad. But he wasn't your friend's dad. Obviously, he's been in your room doing stuff to you. <laughs> doing stuff to me.